These are single shot comets, and by themselves, they're not very impressive. But it's what you can do with multiple comets that can really increase your show value, and we're gonna show you how to do that tonight. By utilizing multiple different comet stations like this, you can really make your firework displays look much better. Here's a couple examples of what that looks like in real time in firework displays we've actually done. Now, one thing you're gonna need to pull something like that off is obviously a Cobra module or other firing system that can fire multiple things at one time, and then some sort of rack to hold all of your comets at the angle you want them to fire. Now tonight we're going to be testing all different kinds of comets and meteor shells three at a time. So each one of these racks, minus some of the ones we're doing for the finale, are going to fire in volleys of three. Now every single one of these comets I purchased from RKM Fireworks. And if you guys are interested in picking up any of the comets you're about to see fire in this video, head on over to the link in the description or the pinned comment section and it'll bring you right to the website I purchased these from. So just gonna interrupt the video here real quick while I'm setting these things up to explain how I made the three shot Comet racks. I am using a different mic right now, so I apologize if you can't hear me as well, or you can hear some of that wind noise in the background, but pretty much I took two shims and some hot glue and then one shim on the back with some more hot glue and I connected all three together like this. Now at the time, I thought this was the best idea I've ever had. You can get three shot slices like this or you can go all the way up to six like these over here. And that looks pretty cool, right? Well, we've actually had a lot of issues lately with these things falling apart. So during setup, it's kind of a nightmare because we have to wrap the bottoms with tin foil like you see here. And we do that so the quick fuse on the bottom of the comets doesn't jump over to the next one because we did have some issues with that in a previous video. But the biggest problem I'm having right now is as I'm setting these up to the modules, they are falling apart on me. And so these racks are not as stable as I originally thought they would be. So I definitely do not recommend that you make comet racks with shims because as you can see they fall apart like that. Now I'm having to use Gorilla Tape to correct some of those issues. And then we had one like this over here where the whole thing just entirely fell apart. Um, that really sucks because I spent a lot of time on these racks and it was just a couple of shims I bought from Menards with some hot glue but clearly that doesn't work. So if you're going to try to do this yourself definitely do not use this method. What do you recommend Garrison? Me? Yeah. Oh just in my humble opinion I'd recommend you know coming a cheap Buy some freaking Craigco racks or something. Hey, by the way. I'm giving you the bird. This one's shorter, <laughs> so this is a permit to fly this bird. You got a permit to fly your plane? So now that I got everything set up, I do just want to remind you guys, definitely do not use the method with the shims and hot glue. It doesn't work. Instead, you'd be much better off getting those Craigco racks and actually angling these out. Because as you can see, the angle does vary sometimes. Like here, it's a little more dramatic than there. And in a firework display that's scripted or a pyro musical, you're definitely gonna notice that and you don't want that to become a problem. So for the sake of this demo video, we're just gonna be firing them like this and hope that they all work. But we have three different channels out here tonight. Channel one features 18 three-shot Comet racks. Channel two features another 18 of the three-shot Comet racks. And channel three over here on the end has some of the finale ones where I went with five or six at a time. And those are some of the coolest single shots I could find on the website. So I have this entire thing set up demo style. You can see channel one here on the paper and that's gonna be there. So as we are pushing the buttons on the Cobra sitting way over there, you guys will be able to follow along based on the effects I wrote down on the paper. And also I'm gonna call these out every time. The sun is going down and you know what that means. It's almost time for fireworks. Also, you guys like my Star Wars shirt? Alrighty guys, well, take a look at this little setup we got going on right now. We got Garrison's phone out with the flashlight on, he's holding the remote, and I've got the demo sheet as well as the camera. Between the two of us, we have to pull this off somehow, and this is the only way we know how to do it. We're going to go ahead and start with Q1 on channel 1. This is a 30 millimeter red comet. Those are loud. Those for... are... Next one up is a 30 millimeter crackling comet. Next one up is a 25 millimeter blue meteor. This is a 25 millimeter red comet. Thirty millimeter purple meteor. Back to 25 millimeter, this is a blue comet. 
Number seven was a misfire, and that's because when we checked continuity, this was the only one in the whole lineup that was not green lit, so we're just gonna hand fire that after we're done with this. Number eight is a 30 millimeter white meteor. Whoa, I almost missed that. <laughs> 30 millimeter blue comet. You can tell the tape job isn't holding up. <laughs> All right guys, so moving forward, I'm not gonna say millimeter anymore. I'm just gonna say 30 or 25. Silver Strobe Comet 30. Red Strobe Comet 30. That's nice. Red Tip Gold Comet 25. So on number 13, I actually messed up. This is a 25 millimeter red strobe with two silver strobe comets. So it's really messed up. It still looked kind of cool, but there was a red one on the right. Lemon Meteor 25. Oh, that's bright. That looked like the Roswell incident for a second there. <laughs> Green Strobe Comet 25. Green Meteor 30. That was really bright. Orange Meteor 25. Last but not least, we've got the Orange Meteor 30 for comparison. Pretty big difference. Okay, we just flipped the page here to channel two, and now we're gonna do the same thing again all the way up to Q18. Okay, that was a 30 millimeter red tip gold comet. Q2 is gonna be green strobe comet 30 millimeter. Very nice. Green meteor 25. Green tip gold comet 25. White mine 30 millimeter. <laughs> that was nice. Blue tip gold comet 30. There's another tape job. <laughs> you can tell when it happens. Nishiki comet 30 millimeter. This should be a good one. Oh yeah. Crackle comet 25 millimeter. That would be a tape job. Green tip gold comet, 30 millimeter. Red mine, 30. Silver comet, 30. Nishiki comet, 25. Whoa, that was a jump. I don't even know what happened there. I think it jumped. So we just fired the Nishiki Comet 25 millimeter and the Silver Comet 25 millimeter fired with it. That would have been the next one in line. Um, we did tin foil the bottom so we could avoid this problem, but clearly it didn't take. Lemon Meteor 30. Blue Tip Gold Comet 25. Blue Mine 30. White Mine 25. Last but not least, we got Blue Mine 25. That was almost the same as the 30 when it comes to mines. Mm -hmm. So right here, we've got channel three, and as you can see, there's only eight cues on there. This is where we're gonna have some real fun once we get to Q6. So on channel three, Q1, this is gonna be a blue meteor, 30 millimeter. That was quick. Red meteor, 30. Red meteor, 25. White meteor, 25. 
Red Mine 25. So Garrison just mentioned, and I agree with him, that the 25 millimeter and the 30 millimeter are really tough to tell apart on the mines, but you can totally tell on the comets, and it is kind of windy out here, sorry about that. Now this next little segment here is the Cody B Special. So with Q6, we have a seven shot surprise. Let's see what that is. <laughs> they should make that a slice. Yeah. That was really cool, actually. Next one up is a 25 millimeter howling tail to snowball times five. <laughs> I like that. And ladies and gentlemen, last but not least, we've got the big boy 30 millimeter red tail snowball times five. Very nice. So as you guys can see, every single one of our single shot comments went off tonight, minus Q7, but we knew that was gonna happen, so we pulled it and we're gonna hand light that. We're just gonna stick a little bit of green fuse down there and get back a good distance, and we'll get you a shot of that one before we end the video. Nice. Yeah, I bet. So a couple takeaways from this video. Obviously, the shim method does not work. They fall apart. The hot glue just does not keep all three of these intact, even if you use three shims in total, like they're all just falling apart. But again, if any of you guys want to pick up these comets for yourself, just go ahead and click the link in the description. I may even have a coupon code with this company. At this point, I don't even know anymore. But if I do, I will put that in there as well. Pin comment section, and you'll be able to get all of these for yourself if you have your 1.4 Pro license.